<laughs> okay. Um. What? Um. Um. Uh. Um. I don't know. <laughs> it changes a lot of things. No idea. Um, I. <laughs> a Hollywood movie. <laughs> <laughs> Babies, bills, <laughs> the, the bad comes with the good, the ugly comes with the beauty, um, you know, the, the trash comes with the, the glitter and the glamour. It's, it's, all, it's all rolled up into one big confusing ball of emotion. Uh, definition of love would be an evolved survival instinct. Uh, my name is Pete Lennon. I have a BA in Psych from the University of Queensland and I'm a registered member of the Australian Psychological Association. It's a drive the same way that hunger or thirst is a survival instinct. Uh, we need to procreate for the sake of the species, so the brain creates, for lack of a better word, love. Love as a very high concept thing is difficult to grasp, just as hunger is if you were to try to explain it to someone in basic terms. I wouldn't know enough to have a definition. The medical or scientific definition of love is human emotion of strong affection and personal attachment. The uh, effects of being in love. A conditionless feeling towards somebody else. Um, positive one. You are full of optimism, of hope. It's been lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Western culture, there's any number of different ways the term can be used. The most traditional is romantic love, strong affection, personal attachment, the strongest interpersonal relationship between humans. There's eros, sexual or romantic love. There's platonic love, which ref now refers to uh, non-sexual relationships between people. Love can just mean a person who you're fond of. It can refer to an object that you're fond of. It's it has a depersonalized meaning, like I love cricket or I love steak. Can I say food? Zach Scott? Myself, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was going to say you, but oh. you know. There are many different meanings, but the question is, what does love mean to you? I'm Louise and we're here to talk about love with Benny and Maureen. Hi, how are you guys? Hey, oh, we're real well. Yes. Nice to see you. How long have you guys been together? Um, we've actually been married 51 years, but we um, knew each other 18 months beforehand. And we met at the youth club. How did you propose? Well, it wasn't so much of a proposal as we've been going out for about five months. We took a holiday in May together in Bournemouth. That's where we live. And we're on the cliffs talking this day, and we're just joking and carrying on, so they're watching at the sea. We more or less took it for granted we were going to go get married and that, so it wasn't much, so much of a proposal. And I thought, you know, will we get married? Yeah, of course we get married. And it kind of went on from there. What would your life be like if you didn't have each other? Well, if I didn't have Benny, it's like losing half of your body. Um, it would be devastating, as you know, if you lost your leg or your arm or something like that you'd have to adjust to life without that particular part of your body. Well, it's like that for me, with Benny. If I didn't have him, what, I mean, who could I talk to at the end of the day? Lonely, worst thing in the world. Uh, be hard to carry on. Um, uh, I don't think I can carry on very well on my own, you know. I couldn't look for nobody else. Terrible without him, I yeah, I know. <laughs> And he knows it. He knows it. <laughs> Very dull. Sad. Directionless. Oh, pretty lonely. What is your definition of love? Well, love, to define love is almost impossible because there's so many definitions. From your wife, down to your pet, down to your love for sport, love of gambling, love of sports stars, everything. There are, there are literally processes in the brain that aren't working properly. Love means to me is what I learned from the man I'll call Jesus. Love is when someone, when kind of two souls combine. It loves an idea of giving to us by society. An unconditional giving. What is your definition of love? 